Hello everyone. Today I will introduce another product of the S-Grid series, C109. First, let's take a look at its appearance, which is very simple and clear from the appearance. We can see that this is its air conditioner, which performs an air cooling cycle on the battery, then this is its EPO switch. In the event of an emergency failure, you can directly press the EPO switch to disconnect the device in an emergency. Below is the air outlet of the PCS, which is mainly used to dissipate the heat inside the PCS. This is the operating indicator light of the device, which has four states. When the device is in standby, it will show light green. When the device is running normally, it will show dark green. When the device is running with a fault, it will show red, and if the device has a warning fault, it will show yellow. Next, let's take a look at the internal structure of the device. The entire interior is mainly composed of three parts, the battery part, the inverter part and the cooling system. The battery part is mainly composed of 14 packs, totaling 109 kilowatt hour. The inverter part is equipped with multiple ports, which can connect to the mains load and photovoltaic. Then the heat dissipation part, this system uses air cooling, which is air conditioning, mainly for the battery to dissipate heat. In addition, the entire system is also equipped with a fire protection system. When the entire device has abnormal high temperature or fire, it will trigger the temperature and smoke sense, which will cause the eruption of aerosols to protect the entire device and prevent disasters. Let me show you our operating system, which is mainly powered by batteries. We turn on the high voltage box switch, which has a 24 volt voltage output, then turn on the screen, which takes about 2 minutes to wait. Next, I will demonstrate to you the energy interaction between the battery and the mains, so we also need to turn on the main switch. You can take a look at our operating system, which mainly plays a monitoring and scheduling role. Monitoring means that our display screen can monitor the various operating status data of the equipment. Then energy scheduling means that the display screen can control the operation mode of the inverter, change the operation mode of the inverter, and then perform energy scheduling. You can take a look at the detailed interface of our display screen, which is mainly composed of five parts. The first is the homepage, where you can see the overall operation of the device, including the entire device here, the current energy status and the upper and lower power, etc. The second is the data page, where you can see the detailed operation of the inverter and the operation status of the battery and air conditioner. The air conditioner part is not connected. The third is the record, where you can see the historical records of the equipment's faults, as well as the operation records and historical data. The fourth is the system interface, which is mainly used to change the operation mode of the equipment. There are multiple operation modes for options. The fifth is the power on and off interface, where you can manually stop and run the equipment. The whole system has the characteristics of simple structure and easy operation. You only need to connect to the city power to use it, without adding other additional inverters. In terms of safety, we have provided protection in BMS, PCS and the entire fire protection end, and the safety guarantee is complete. For the integrated cabinet, our equipment is relatively small in size and light in weight, which makes it very convenient to move. This system is very suitable for industrial, commercial and home use.